You know, this guy would have ended up being a long time decent uh, fifth or sixth defenseman uh, would it not be for bad luck or injuries that kind of followed him for most of his career. When he was drafted by the Philadelphia Flyers in the 1969 entry draft, it was based on a strong career with the Swift Current Broncos of the WCJHL or the WCHL. Now, Willie Bro uh, Brossart, or Brossart, six feet, 190, a very, very rugged player, wasn't scared to take a penalty, wasn't scared to rough stuff. Um, uh, got in the flyer system based on a big 35 point season in 1962 with again Swift Current Estevan of the WCHL. Now 1970 was sent to the um, Flyers affiliate to Quebec Aces put up some decent numbers uh, as part of a very talented side 14 points in 57 games now he played a second season with Quebec in 71, 25 points in 62 games uh, and I also had a cup of coffee with the Flyers in one goal 72 played with the Richmond Robins for 29 games but finally got the call up to the Philadelphia Flyers with four uh, points in 42 games with only minus seven, so good, strong in the defense. 73, he found himself back with the Richmond Robins and four games with the uh, Flyers. 74 was a weird uh, campaign, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, here's, to, uh, here's to tell you why. His rights were sold by Philadelphia Toronto as part of a May 15, 73 trade in which Philly sent a first round pick, which ended up being Bob Neely, and future considerations <coughs> to St. LeBros Art and July 27, 73 transfer Doug Vivelle to Toronto for exchange for the NHL rights to Bernie Perron, who was playing in the WHA at the time. Now, he was eventually traded by Toronto with Tim Ecclestone to Washington Exchange for Rod Sealing, who came back to Toronto. Now, his connections with the WHA are quite uh, weird. He had signed a WHA contract with Birmingham in 76, but it didn't uh, work out. Now, although he played defense for the majority of his pro career, he did play on the forward lines, which he did in junior. Now, he was third in the NHL with 182 penalty minutes for Quebec in 70-71. Now, when, when he was traded to Washington, which made him an original uh, uh, capital, he missed the remainder of the 75 season with a broken right ankle, an injury suffered in Washington's November 27, 74 game versus Minnesota, the same game in which he scored his only NHL goal. Now, he also missed part of the 76 season with an eye injury, suffered when he was cut by, of all people, Pierre LaRouche in what proved to be his final NHL game on January 24, 76 at Pittsburgh. Now, talking about the WHA connections, he was selected by the Oilers, Alberta, in the 72 WHA draft, shifted back to the left wing by Philadelphia during the team's 72 training camp, would draw a lot of attention by the Edmonton Oilers in 73 when they had a draft of established players, and he took them. Now, he is, is uh, well known for his playing partner, Jim McKenney, uh, with Toronto during the 73-74 season. The biggest problem with uh, Bra, Bra, Brassard, his name sound like Brassard with a D, and unfortunately in all night NHL publications of the 67 69-70 season, he spelled his name Brassard, A-R-D. Now, again, his natural position was left wing and he went on defense. Now, he was playing in the SHL with Baltimore, trying to get back to the big league, when that association folded January 31st, 1977. Now, we, we look with Toronto, 74 season, one assist in 17 games, did play one playoff game, most of the, the year was out with injury. 75, he split game at a time with Toronto and Washington again before that injury. 76, almost a full season of Washington, 8 points in 49 games, and uh, with the Richmond Robins in 76 and uh, the Richmond Wildcats and the Baltimore Clippers of the SHL Senior League in 1977. Uh, but what was kind of bizarre, ladies and gentlemen, the 1976 season was rough for the Capitals. Unfortunately, the statistics can't lie. He, uh, he played 49 games 
he was minus 49, ladies and gentlemen. So every game was a rough goal for Willie. But Willie had talent. Like that uh, that uh, year that he played uh, 42 games with the Flyers, he was only minus 7. He wouldn't score very often. Uh, but that one goal, like what a way to go out. You're getting injured in the only NHL game you ever scored. Pretty freaky. So final NHL totals over, uh, again, uh, six seasons in NHL. Uh, 129 games, one goal, 14 assists, 15 points. But I saw Willie play with the Flyers. I saw Willie play with Toronto and Washington. The man had good skills, but the problem was he was caught in that Washington Capitals kind of a bad defensive core. And uh, I think if everything, all things being equal, his best chance would have been with the Flyers. Uh, but it didn't work out because the Flyers, as you know, had Andre Dupont, Ashby, Michael Hargy was uh, coming up. You had the Watson brothers. It was just a numbers game. He was a number seven defenseman in Philadelphia and probably number six or number seven in Toronto. But that was a big uh, deal uh, made to press uh, for Rod Sealing getting back with Toronto from Washington. And, uh, you know, that was a media that was a media excitement for uh, for months because everybody's name. Every time Willie was named, the Sealing deal came up because they never thought that Sealing would end, end up, uh, you know, back with uh, Toronto or in the Toronto system. You know, a long-time uh, Toronto favorite. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the story with Willie Brassard. No D, of course, with a T. If you like what we're doing here on this night where Montreal Canadiens pretty well secured a playoff spot with a win over Calgary in that three-game series, please let me know. Give it again, like, comment, subscribe. And requests are always appreciated and always taken in consideration. Have a good day. Bye.